Governor Brian Sandoval was un unable to attend today's uh, opening ceremony. However, he will be well represented by Woman Peter uh, Gerald, uh, Nevada Office of Veteran Services. She's the Deputy Executive Director. Ms. Gerald is a retired Air Force non-commissioned officer who served from 1975 to 1995. She specialized in personnel management and it's a great pleasure to present William the Great, Gerald. Good morning. Good morning. And thank you for allowing me to be here. As the Deputy Director of the Nevada Department of Veterans Services and a 20-year Air Force veteran, it is an honor to be here today. I appreciate the opportunity to address the opening ceremonies for the Traveling Vietnam Memorial Wall, and I do so on behalf of the Governor Brian Sandoval and the Nevada Department Director Catherine Miller, who sends their appreciation and support for all veterans in Nevada and throughout the country. Vietnam, 1965. Like the mayor, I was too young to go, but still, I knew. Few Americans could fall, find the small Southeast Asian country on the map, and little did anyone know it would become a crucial part of our American history, or it would define a generation and become the most decisive period in American history since the Civil War. A generation of young men were drafted and called to service in what they would call a police conflict. But make no mistake, people, it was war. 18 years old, who might have had memories of recent proms and graduation, were called to service. They left their farms, their homes, and their families to answer that call. The war raged on and, we, and was played out on the evening news in American homes across the country. While the debate raged at home, would, should we be there or should we not, servicemen, men and women, fought on. America watched and saw the breaking stories of lives lost and prisoners of war. Still, more young men were sent and resources committed. Finally, when the war was over, servicemen came home to a hostile country a public which was unaware of the cost of those who serve and unappreciative of the price paid in lives and the experience for those who did return. Finally, the war was over. There would be no parade for the Vietnam veterans. For decades, America would try to forget and to set aside a war that tore this country apart. In the aftermath, the country they served tried to set a generation of veterans aside because they did not want to be reminded. But the veteran who served could not and would not forget. They would not forget because to live through Vietnam change their lives forever. It is forever engraved upon them of what they fought for, what they went through, and for the friends that did not return with them. It is etched in their hearts, in their minds, and in their soul. 59,296 times it is etched. The wall in Washington and the traveling memorial wall here today have engraved upon them the names of men and women we must remember. America must look at these names of those who gave the ultimate sacrifice and recognize them. The names written here are to honor the memory of their lives and their service. Yet they do more than that. They do more because their names rest upon a wall in peaceful vigil as a reminder to all Americans the ultimate cost of war and that the Vietnam veteran, once pushed aside, walks amongst us today proud in their service. This wall 
serves not only as a memorial, but as an emblem to our country of why sacrifice can never be forgotten, and of those who did return should never be set aside. America today is stronger because of the names here and the Vietnam veterans who came home. We're stronger because they paid a unique price. Beyond the times in the service and the lives we remember today, they lived through that period in history when America forgot the true price of service to a nation whether the choice was wrong or right. It must be reminded of what freedom asked for when you put on the uniform. It's the Vietnam veteran, both on this wall and in the audience, that taught us all that lesson. While the Vietnam War is certainly a dark period in our history, this monument, those listed as uh, lives lost, is a beacon to commemorate their memory. It's a hard-earned reminder that we as a country and as citizens should never set their memories aside. With this wall, Americans everywhere can pay tribute and we appreciate those who made it their job to bring it to us. On behalf of Governor Brian Sandoval and Director Catherine Miller and myself, we honor those names here for their service and their sacrifice. And to those Vietnam veterans who did come home, we owe you a continued gratitude and we give you our deepest thanks. Welcome home. Sure, sure.